G'day, my name's Darrell Phillips. I'm the uh, Chuka Village Captain. I've been a member of the CFA for approximately 26 years and I've been the captain of the Chuka Village here for over five years. Um, we're a small brigade. We have uh, 31 members, uh, 12, 15 active members. Uh, we started on the Thursday supporting Rochester down there on the Thursday night and worked our way out to Bamorm and back into Echuca Village when the floods first kicked off. And on the uh, Friday, we had uh, crews in there sandbagging and helping Echuca until we started to realise there was a bit of a, an event starting to appear out here in the village. Um, we did start manufacturing our own sandbags out here with one pile of sand uh, by the end of it, I think we had 240 pallets of sandbags on the ground at one stage. We had three concrete agitators out here and five forklifts. The community support was uh, unbelievable. Um, they just kept coming in droves and probably one of the hardest things I had to do was to tell the people of a night that uh, we'd run out of uh, sandbags and they had to go home. Um, if you look at the map we've got over here, uh, this Deacon drain here, a lot of the uh, Rochester water came down through there to hit at the Bay of Biscay and if most of you are local residents you know the Bay of Biscay is just a little channel you normally drive over but that Bay of Biscay goes into the Beatty Depression which is called the floodway and that was 400 metres wide and five kilometres long at certain stages. When all the water couldn't get into the Bay of Biscay it started backing up on the Murray Valley Highway and inundating some of these houses along the, the, the main channel there. In the end, we couldn't get any access through Mitchell Road, Brown Road, Simi Road, it went over the bridge, the floodway. So the only access into and out of Echuca Village was Looker Road, uh, where there was a young fella down here pumping out of a dam, which some people thought he was just pumping just to uh, get rid of his own water, but he was actually keeping Looker Road open. Over here to Canyapella and Yamburna, we had uh, brigade members supporting uh, local residents out there that did a mighty job out there. When we got to go home, we had to go home and start up our own pumps and look after our own cattle and our own things. So we really never got a break from it for them two weeks. Like people would say to me that you need to go home and have a rest. But when I went home and went to bed, it rained one night and I think it was 38 mil of rain. So while you're in bed, you're thinking, well, what the hell's tomorrow gonna bring and what's gonna happen with my own cattle? But some people went out and moved my cattle uh, a local business in town supplied a big tractor and a big pump to drain my property. Everybody was sort of looking after my place and we were doing the same with everybody else's place. While they were down here, there'd be people going to their house and helping sandbag or, or start tractors or look after their stock. One member, we had to specifically tell him he had to go home. Um, he was here every morning cooking bacon and eggs and he'd still be, and I think he's in his 70s. And in the end, I came down here one night at three o'clock in the morning and I walked in the station and fell over him because he was laying on the floor and he doesn't actually remember it. So uh, that morning he got sent home for a couple of days to have a rest. But yeah, I think uh, all our members over that two week period would be pretty fatigued mentally, physically, emotionally and whatever the fatigue you can have. Um, but they just kept on giving. And the good part about most of the members, when I asked them to do something, it got done. We didn't have to second guess it. If I asked somebody to take two pallets down to some road, house in Bangarang Road, you were guaranteed it was going to get done. You didn't need to check on him. And another thing, there was a lot of community people from uh, Echuca, Echuca Village and Mohammed that would just pull up here with a trail and go, I want to help, what can we do? And I'd say, mate, load these pallets on, take them all the way to Yamburna or a 30 kilometre round trip. And in the end, we were just sort of giving them the person's phone number and they were dealing with them directly themselves and just coming back in. Um, and I'd just like to uh, make sure and wish uh, all the community and all the members of the CFA a Merry Christmas and stay safe and uh, see what we can come up with next year. But hopefully it's a better year for everybody. Thank you.